What are some ways I can consistently give my guests a great experience at my bed and breakfast? Today, I'm going to look at ways to maintain your bed and breakfast standards. Welcome to another edition of Hospitality Property School. I am your instructor, Jerry McPherson. Using checklists are about the most foolproof way to guarantee consistency of service in your bed and breakfast. And it is these checklists that will become the basis for your operations manual. I've talked about your operations manual in a past edition, but if you would like a refresher, you can find it at keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com forward slash KHDC113. Let me share with you a few ideas you could implement in your bed and breakfast. When checking and cleaning a guest room, this is the type of checklist I would use. 1. The main guest bedroom. Dust. Chain sheets. Make the bed. Empty trash cans. Check under beds. In drawers. And behind the curtains for anything left by previous guests. Vacuum. Note anything broken. Reset thermostat. Two, check guest bedroom amenities. Replace glassware, and by this, I don't mean just the clean ones, and beverage coasters. Place TV and DVD remotes on nightstand, guest welcome note or letter. Three, add the finishing guest room bedroom touches. Check radio clock to be sure that the time is set correctly and the alarm is turned off. Check the volume on the radio and or TV. Adjust all the blinds to the same level. Display current magazines. Add fresh candy to a dish. Stage guest book with pen. 4. Clean guest bathroom. Dust. Vacuum. Mop. Clean shower. Toilet. Mirrors and vanity. Empty trash cans. 5. Check guest bathroom amenities. Replace bath, hand, and face towels. Replace bath mat. Stock basics such as soap, shampoo, conditioner, lotion, toilet paper, tissue, and fresh glassware. Six, add finishing guest bathroom touches. Add bath gel, mouthwash, makeup remover pads, hair dryer, deodorizer. 7. Stock guest bedroom closet. Open the luggage rack. Wooden hangers, 10 men's, 10 women's. Extra pillows and blankets. Fresh robes hanging and arranged properly with belts tied. After a word from our sponsor, I'm going to share with you more routines you can use to make your property more efficient. Do you have an independent hospitality property? a hotel, resort, inn, or bed and breakfast, and at times feel overwhelmed with all you have to do? Do you find yourself doing everything from checking guests in, to marketing, to looking for the right people to work for you, to cleaning toilets and everything in between? What happens when things become hectic? Do you feel stressed? Do you find it difficult to plan for the future when your only concern is how to get the rooms ready for the new arrivals? So what can you do? You have to get organized. You have to learn the strategies that will make you more effective. Wouldn't it be great to learn the techniques the big brand hospitality properties use and to work like you have a full organizational structure supporting you? If the answer is yes, your next question might be, how do I do this? Well, if you can make the time and have the extra funds, many universities and colleges offer hospitality training programs. Or... You can learn from those who've gone through all your problems and see how they have streamlined their business. You can do this by becoming a member of the Hospitality Property School Group. The benefits of this group include helping your hospitality property to gain a clear vision, help set up your organizational structure, help set up your brand, help your social media strategy, help create an atmosphere to hire the right employees, help grow your business. The Hospitality Property School Group is designed to share knowledge, tips, and techniques to like-minded hospitality property owners and managers 
who might not have the benefit of having an entire organization to support them. If you are looking for ways to streamline your business, learn how to set up an organizational strategy, to hire and keep the right employees, and to increase your bookings and profit, then visit keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com forward slash membership hyphen site and explore the Hospitality Property Group for an entire week for only one dollar. We guarantee you'll find tips and techniques that you can begin using right away to help start improving your bookings and profit. But don't just take my word for it. Explore yourself for an entire week for only one dollar. That's keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com forward slash membership hyphen site. You've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Before the break, I said I was going to share with you more routines you can use to make your property more efficient. Breakfast is 50% of the bed and breakfast name. Do you think it's important to have the same breakfast routine every day? Is it okay to let individual employees set up the breakfast the way they would like? It is very important when your returning clientele come back, they know they will constantly receive the same quality and selection. So, although you get used to serving it, it's a good idea to have a checklist to follow for your breakfasts. This is also a good idea for those times when you are not available and your staff are doing the setup. Consistency is very important. The following can be done the day before. Check your guest register for dietary restrictions and guest allergies. Review menu choices. This is your opportunity to shine. Be creative and utilize dishes and ingredients from your region. Check for all ingredients. Decide on quick substitutions if necessary. Set out all cooking utensils by the recipe. Set out the serving dishes and appropriate utensils. Measure all dry and non-perishable ingredients. Take frozen items out of the freezer to defrost. Set breakfast table or tables. Set up early departure to-go bags. Set up early morning coffee and tea service. By using the same setup routine as a guideline will help you streamline your operation. As far as the breakfast itself, I am sorry to say, but dry scrambled eggs, burnt ham, and hard toast don't cut it anymore. Breakfast at a bed and breakfast is part of the attraction and tapping into your guest senses can trigger amazing positive memories. And amazing positive memories can mean return business. A well-designed breakfast can trigger three senses immediately. Sight, smell, and taste. Sight, use lots of color. Color means healthy and, and nutritious. Smell, the smell of pancakes or waffles might trigger a childhood memory. Taste, I can still remember when I tasted the best salmon mousse of my life. I've been asked about my favorite bed and breakfast recipes. And to be honest, there are so many I could write a book. But I did find a recipe book that has stood the test of time. The American Country Inn and Bed and Breakfast Cookbook. To see the cookbook, click or copy and paste the link below into your browser. It's worth a look. Is this making sense? Let me know by leaving a short comment. Have you ever had a mix-up with reservations? Next, I'm going to share how you and your staff can stay consistent when taking a reservation. To make sure your guests get the best impression of your bed and breakfast, train everyone who answers the phone. You need to gather the essential information when taking a guest reservation for your bed and breakfast by phone. And you'd be surprised at how easy it is to forget the basics. To cover all the bases, Begin by taking down the following information. Date reservation is taken and who took the reservation? Guest name, address, telephone, day, evening cell, and email. Arrival and departure dates. Confirm the number of nights. Room selection and special add-ons. Reason for visiting the area and whether it is a special occasion. This can be done during the conversation, but make a note of it. Referral source, how they originally found you. Credit card number, expiration, three digits on back, four digits in front on Amex. Wrap things up by confirming the 
plus rate tax or any additional charges. Reviewing policies, especially deposit and cancellation policies. And a check-in time. Ask for an approximate arrival time. Note any dietary restrictions or allergies. Very important for breakfast. Offering to make reservations for dinner, events, tours, and so on. Telling guests the next step, such as a follow-up confirmation email. And remember, both a smile and a frown can be heard. This type of reservation checklist is necessary, but to be honest, I feel no matter what the size of your operation, having the proper software in place to consistently walk you through these steps is essential. And we're going to be spending more time looking at this type of software in the near future. The last thing I want to talk about in this edition is standing apart from your competition. I have looked at the significance of consistency, but it is important to remember that every bed and breakfast should not look like it's part of a cookie cutter operation. Take a look at your property and determine what you can do to stand out from the crowd. To get your own copy of guest room, breakfast setup, and the phone reservations checklist, visit keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com forward slash khdc131. Okay, this is our look at some ways to stand apart. When it comes to marketing, target your neighbors. Not only vacationing in your own country is okay, but vacationing in your own community can be fun. Who would not benefit from a short break of one or two overnight stays? So when preparing your marketing plan, don't forget local associations, community groups, and clubs. If you look around, you'll see there's so much to do in your own region, and a bed and breakfast stay can suit a break like this perfectly. Provide good value for the money. Private bathrooms, box spring beds, free internet, nowadays are more the rule than the exception. What can you offer to make your property more unique and comparable to a four or five star stay? Bed and breakfasts are trendier and stays have changed over the years. There are trendier B&Bs turning up with theme rooms, design furniture, or luxury wellness facilities and are partnering with local operations. These are properties where you can attend cooking workshops, painting seminars, and music weekends. No wonder young people are becoming fans. Bed and breakfast properties are becoming more interesting like being set up in stately monumental properties, former school buildings, old mills, log cabins, and houseboats. The sky's the limit. And personal service. The most important charm of a bed and breakfast, however, remains personal service. Be willing to go the extra mile for your guests. Unexpected surprises are the best and most time most memorable. Let your imagination go wild and be unique. In conclusion, developing routines and checklists for your bed and breakfast will help you maintain consistency for your guests. If you would like to learn more tips and techniques for operating a hospitality property, I highly recommend you join our six day challenge. Whether you are operating a one room bed and breakfast or a 500 room luxury hotel, there's always something new you can learn. And this six day challenge will take you step by step through the process of operating a successful hospitality property and it's 100% free. You can sign up below. Now, if you like this video, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and if you're going to implement any of these procedures. You can support this free podcast by leaving us a review and giving us a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts or wherever you happen to be listening to it. Every review helps more people find the podcast at no cost to you. If you know someone who might benefit from this video, please feel free to share it and make sure to hit that like button. I appreciate the feedback. Be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for your attention, and let's continue to work together to put heads in your beds. Until next time, have a fun day. We will see you next time, right here in Hospitality Property School.